Hello, I'm Ayush, a class board engineer here at the AWS office in Sydney. Today, I'm going to show you how to use a Linux Bastion host and an application load balancer to gain access to an Amazon managed workflows for Apache Airflow's private Airflow UI. Let's get started. I will start this tutorial by showing how to connect to the MWAA private Airflow UI using a Linux Bastion host paired with Foxy Proxy for Mozilla Firefox. To start, we will launch an Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud instance in one of the public subnets of the MWAA environment. Note also that you can use any methodology to set up the Bastion host for the Amazon MWAA environment. We'll set up a new security group with a key pair and then note this information for later use. And if you have a direct connect connection or a VPN to your Amazon virtual private cloud, then you can place the instance in the private subnet and allow access to the instance on the private IP of the host that you're connecting from. Start by provisioning a new instance. Moving through the EC2 console to launch an instance. Select your instance type and AMI. We will set up a key pair to be used by the instance and a new security group. We will be putting this instance inside of the same VPC as the MWAA environment in a public subnet. By default, inbound traffic is enabled to the Bastion Instances security group using an ingress rule on port 22. This will allow us to set up an SSH tunnel using local port forwarding. We can move to the inbound rules of the security groups to add the source as our IP being used to connect to the EC2 instance for added security. Do note, you should follow the security guidelines as per your use case. We are creating this ingress rule for the sake of demonstration. We will now launch our instance. Let's move to our environment security group with an Amazon MWA to allow inbound traffic from the Bastion Instances security group. Head to MWA console, click on security group, and add the security group we copied from within this previous step to an inbound rule within that security group. We will next create an EC2 instance connect endpoint. Moving to the VPC dashboard, we will go to the endpoint section. We will press on create endpoint. Within the service category section, we will select EC2 instance connect endpoint. Within the VPC, we will click on the MWA environment VPC. Within security groups, we will select the security group for our MWA environment. And within subnets, we will select the private subnet of our MWA environment. As we already have an EC2 instance connect endpoint within our environment, I won't click create. Once the EC2 instance connect endpoint has finished provisioning, we can move to our CLI. The command AWS EC2 instance connect open tunnel is the AWS command line interface command that establishes an SSH tunnel to an Amazon EC2 instance over a secure data stream. We'll use this to set up the SSH tunnel. As mentioned, when you execute this command, the AWS CLI will initiate a secure tunnels connection from your local machine to the specified EC2 instance in the specific region. We will require the IPv4 DNS URL of our EC2 instance. To view this, click on the instance from within the EC2 console. Now in a new terminal session, let's use the AWS CLI to create an SSH SOX proxy tunnel through to an EC2 instance from our local CLI. Return to the Amazon MWAA console to save the Airflow UI URL. Let's complete the setup of Foxy Proxy to open the Airflow UI within Mozilla Firefox. The following example demonstrates a Foxy Proxy standard version 8.9 configuration for Mozilla Firefox. Foxy Proxy provides a set of proxy management tools and lets you use a proxy server for URLs that match patterns corresponding to domains used by the Apache Airflow UI. Choose the Foxy Proxy icon in your browser's toolbar and then choose Options. Head to Import and choose Import from Older Versions. We will first move to copy the following code and save it locally as an MWA proxy JSON. 
substitute the sample value in your host name with your Apache Airflow URL. Copy the following code and save it locally as MWA proxy JSON. Substitute the sample value in your host name with your Apache Airflow URL. Make sure to save this file. Now within Foxy Proxy, press Input from older versions, Input. Click Save. Once saved, you can move to back to your extensions, click on Foxy Proxy, and click Airflow. Now, using the Airflow URL, you may access the Airflow UI by setting up a SOX proxy. You can route your web browser traffic through a remote server, enabling you to access resources that are not directly accessible from your local machine. Hence how we are accessing the Airflow UI using this method. Head into the extensions, go ahead to the Foxy Proxy extension, and make sure that Airflow is selected. And we can go to the MWAA environment and click on Open Airflow UI. And we have now accessed the Airflow private UI. Continuing this video, I will now talk about the process of gaining access to the private Airflow UI using an application load balancer. Please note you will need all the private VPC endpoints created as well as an SSL certificate to carry this methodology out. To begin, we will firstly go to the MWA security group and add an inbound rule allowing our IP address to access the MWA environment on HTTPS port 443. We will start by going to the Manage Apache Airflow console, heading to the security group of our environment. Within the security group, we will head through to the inbound rules, edit inbound rules, add a rule, go through to HTTPS, and only allow my IP. Save rules. Next, to access the private Airflow UI with an application load balancer, let's identify the private IP addresses of the Amazon MWAA web server that's being used. Use the following CLI command to retrieve the hostname for your Apache Airflow web server. Run a dig command on the hostname returned in the response of the previous command. Use the following AWS CLI command to retrieve the VPC endpoint DNS name returned in the response of the previous command. Run a dig command on your Apache Airflow hostname and its VPC endpoint DNS name to retrieve the IP addresses. As such, the IP addresses are as follows. Now that we have recorded the IP addresses, let's create a target group from the EC2 console. Moving through to the target group section under load balancing, we will create target group. We select IP addresses for the target group type. We put in a target group name. For the protocol, we set the port to 443 HTTPS. For the VPC, we will select the MWAA environment VPC. Make sure to click on advanced health check settings and override it by adding 302 to success codes. Make sure to type in the two IP addresses that you treat from the last step. We will register the targets after setting the application load balancer. Click on include as pending below, and then you may create the target group. Let's set up the application load balancer now. We will move to the load balancer section under load balancing. Click on create load balancer. Create application load balancer. Add a load balancer name. Make sure the scheme is internet facing. For the network mapping, make sure the VPC is MWA environment. And for the mappings, use the two private subnets within the VPC. For the security group, make sure to select the Airflow Environments Security Group. For the listeners and routing, we will set the protocol to HTTPS pointing to port 443. Select the target group that we created earlier. We will now use an SSL certificate to set up the application load balancer. You can use any of the certificate sources, but for the sake of demonstration, I'm using a certificate I have within AWS Identity and Access Management. Once you're finished, press Create Load Balancer. 
Now that the load balancer is set up, we can check the resource map to check that the target groups are healthy and active. We can save the URL from the DNS name of the load balancer so we can use it within the CLI to get the web token string. Do note, you may use any methodology to create a web server access token. Moving to the CLI, we will be using a shell script to get the web token string. You may proceed to copy the following contents into a shell file. Substitute the host name as the ALB URL copied earlier, and the environment name will be the same as your MWAA environment. You may run the following command to ensure the script is executable. We will run the following script to get the web token string. You can now move to copy this web token string into your browser. And now you know how to use an application load balancer to gain access to the Amazon MWAA private Airflow UI. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.